Good evening, and welcome to uh, Roll Hit Die Presents Dungeons and Veterans. This evening we are um, going to continue our little trek through this Yanti dungeon that we were, found ourselves in. So let's see, without further ado, I am Dan Latham, the DM. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Roll Hit Die. Also, any no uh, sound that you hear, the music and the sound effects that we use are from Sirenscape. So if you ever want to do a nice little um, atmospheric uh, for your dungeons, uh, dungeon playing games, use Sirenscape. Now without further ado, we'll do a roll call. Roll call. Sound off. Uh, I am Josh Hill, a uh, former soldier, still in my blood. Um, I am playing Chikai no Shi. A man without a past, trying to recall his past, who wears a mask and no one knows why at this point. I am followed by... Hello, I am Marcus Scott, uh, former Air Force. Uh, today I am playing Brother May I, a Grave Domain cleric who's a little heavy on the drinking side and is trying to find what truly happens. That's all I'll say about that for now. And I'll pass it over to Bob. Hello, my name's Bob Vincent, former U.S. Navy. I'm playing Bayor, a Indiana Jones archaeologist slash gloomstalker ranger. Next <coughs> up, I'm Sarge. Sarge. I'm Fritz Neufeld, retired USAF. I'm running a, a Ranger. Well, he's a U.S. Army Ranger, 2nd Battalion, 75th Rangers. He's actually a warlock. He was pulled into this world from uh, after just having climbed Point Duhok on D Day, 1945. He's a little confused. All right, and our uh, other player who is not here this evening is Todd Meacham. He plays Demort, who is a halfling. I will be covering that until he shows up. He is on his way right now. He's logging in, so we should see him momentarily. Sweet. Thank you for the heads up. All right, You're so welcome. previously... Previously, we... Okay, I am getting some feedback. Previously on Dungeons and Veterans, our group of adventurers made their way into a temple that they were greeted by Yon at. Once they made their way in, they dealt with a few traps, uh, some other Yon that were patrolling the area. And last thing we had to deal with, beyond the spiders, was the uh, desecration of a sarcophagus, which may or may not have triggered the other two to pop open and attack. So we had a couple mummies decide to jump in the mix and show our disrespecting group what's what. Didn't work out in their favor though. With that, uh, I believe Veor decided he was checking the inscriptions and such on the sarcophagus themselves, correct? Uh, yes. Uh, and then we opened the fourth and final sarcophagus and I got a poison attack. And you guys were going to take a rest right after that. The reason I mentioned the uh, markings, if you will check in your notes section, you'll see something called charcoal rubbings. You'll bring that up, and it'll show you what you took off of the... Uh... That's it. All right, and each number out to the side represents a sarcophagus. So one sarcophagus had these markings, the next one had these, so forth and so on. Okay. And you pretty much see markings similar to this throughout the entire dungeon, or temple. Okay. And with that, you guys, uh, Veyer, you took first watch, if I'm not mistaken, with a 25. Yes, sir. It went pretty well uneventful. Uh, you did hear scraping or movement out in the hallway at one point in time during your watch. DeMort had a 16 on his watch check, and he heard the same thing come back the other direction. She, uh, your watch, went pretty well uneventful as well. You didn't hear any movement outside, though. 
You did hear some snoring from Sergeant Rock, who tried to stay up on watch with you. Okay. So yeah, that's all you 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 probably threw a blanket or something over his face to quiet him up during your watch. That's on his side. So with that, what do you gentlemen like to do? I'm noticing that there is there's an area on our map that uh, uh, we haven't uh, discovered. There's a, yeah, there's a black area right there. I think so, it's... So, go ahead. I think that's structural. It's just part of what holds the ceiling up. All right. That's awfully big to be structural. Talk about here? You got uh, five tenths, yes. 20 by 10, 20, 30, 40, 65 feet. That's, uh, that's 110 square feet of structural. Okay. Oh, you're pinging down at the bottom. Yes. You're talking about this right here? Yeah. Or this? Yeah. Oh, a yeah. big open space. He's saying there's a big open space that we haven't seen yet. Yes. So I think I think it would be a good idea to go back along those walls and inspect them a little more carefully. See if we miss might have missed a door, or a trigger, or anything. Hmm. Uh, maybe, maybe that from the bottom of the chasm. Maybe there's a door down there. If that like, could be. But I'd like to thoroughly explore this level before we go down. So I was trained to repel at the, with the 10th Mountain Division. I'm perfectly happy to repel down there and look for a door at the bottom of the chasm. And we'll, we'll let you do that as soon as we get to that point, but I think we ought to finish this level first. Alright, so let's see. Now we also have a door to our Are you referring? Left. Are yeah. you referring to this area right here? No, sir. Okay. So, show me. Uh, referring to the area similar to that, yeah, that one. Okay, yeah, this. But there will be an analogous area over here. It's pretty much dead space as far as the map is concerned. It's, um. How to put it? This is solid on both sides. I expect to see some it of that. It is structural. There's, um, but you don't know for certain because you've not gone down one more level. Right. We waste 20 minutes and find out. And of course you have the door as soon as you come out that, uh, let me zoom back There's in. also this door here. Is that a door? Yes, that is a door. Well, I don't think we've gone through that yet either. We haven't. Have you checked it? Let's do that now. Yeah, you the word is my likes to check on here. Meanwhile, the Sarge is checking six. He's got his gun trained down the hall behind us, making sure nobody comes up and surprises us from the rear. Does the uh, does the little one want to go ahead of us? Yeah, so I'll go in first. As long as someone can throw something that's shiny and bright in for me. Um, we we don't have that ability anymore. All right, hold on. Um, just I do. A second. Okay, yeah, good. Somebody has that ability. Yeah, All right. he has I'm here in flash. Around in there. I am hearing can Todd, you, right? Can you cast... Yes, you are. This is Todd speaking. Can you cast light on my... Something like my oh, hair. On your hair? Is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'll cast light on his hair. You're wearing a helmet. I don't wear a helmet. I'm unarmed. He's gone Super Saiyan. <laughs> <laughs> He's shining. He's bright. 
Alright, so now that I've moved the door, trying to move things around here. Alright, with your investigation check, you did hear movement on the other side of the door. You do not believe it's trapped, and it doesn't seem to be locked. You've cast light on the Mort's hair. Yes. Um, I would like to ask before we go in, Sarge, Sarge would you give us um, another one of your rousing tales of bravery from this strange where you come from? You got ten minutes? We have all, right. all the time in the world. Yeah. We're on an island that we know not what yeah. or where time. or anything about it. Uh, Ross over in uh, Birmingham, and uh, we were just supposed to dance. We didn't just dance. And he tells a whole story, and uh, it's a little lewd, but it's still inspirational, and everybody gets their uh, temporary hit points. Six. Is it? I think I thought it went up. Let's see. Uh, it went five. up from five. Yep. But when Actually, we gained level when we gained level four, didn't it go up again? Oh you're right. It's eight. Okay, so yeah. speaking of that, everybody did level up their characters to four, correct? Eight yes. ten for everyone. And it's even bolder. Yes. <clears throat> Alright. So you get your nice little speech. And while you're Thank doing you that, Veor, you hear that movement on the other side of the door. What kind of movement? Um, almost like scraping footsteps. Little scrapish footstep kind of deal. Um, they're not. Doesn't sound like a giant snake slithering around, but you do hear their feet moving around. We put the door back, maybe, uh, or maybe not. It's not. There it goes. <laughs> so, let's see. We're going to open this door up. Uh, we'll open it up and allow Duke Sport, whatever his name is, to <laughs> rush headlong in our danger. Hey. So, my hair is shiny, so I can see, what, 25 and 25, right? Uh, 20 and 20. Uh, 20 and 20? What the hell? Yep, I'm opening it up for you. Kick open the door and there we go. So it's a good thing y'all had a long rest. So there are six UNT in this room, and they appear to be watching the door. No surprises for anyone, huh? No. No, I'm not surprised. <laughs> No surprise. You got so, a shadowy corner over here. So let's go ahead and get some initiative rolls going. Go ahead and start this thing off right. Ooh. Woo! Look at that. Oh, my token wasn't selected. Uh. Who am I missing? Brother, may I? Now, my first initiative, I just wanted to make sure that the right token was selected. I guess that matters now. The, the right token? Yeah, it yelled at me because I didn't have my token selected before I rolled initiative. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that's if they have an initiative tracker. You don't have to really worry about it. It'll yell at you. But... All right. Uh, she goes on 17, Veo goes on 15, Rock goes on 21. Brother May I goes on 16. And we're going with your first roll, which was an 8 there, Demort. And let me roll theirs. Alright, so Alright, well, you guys cast this light on uh, DeMort's hair, so now he is glowing as a beacon in the dark. Beacon in the dark. And as the door is opened up and he steps in, Sergeant Rock, you notice six of these creatures you've been fighting the entire time in this temple 
looking at the door expectantly, as if they're waiting on something. You are first in the initiative. What would you like to do? Ooh. Now, adjust your characters. Both. Let's see. Where is Demort? I'm pretty much where I should be, yeah. Okay, yeah, in the middle of the room. Uh, we, yeah. We've spoken to these okay. guys before. Just making sure. And I want to get this little black dot out of the way because it's annoying the hell out of me. No, I'm not, because if I do, I'm going to move AR. Sorry, Sergeant Rock, what are we doing? So our previous effort, there was some parlay done upstairs, and then things were going to get apart. Um, so, were we uh, able to parlay? the black with thing off the side, and then it start hitting way to stop this. Oh, wait. Why am I talking? These are Nazis. One, two... Three, four, five, six. Thank you. And he's going to run up, and he's going to start out right with a frag out. Okay, over there. Oh, I see. You said you were fragging out. Yep. So, uh, uh, I'm going to target... Don't do that. I'm going to oh, target... Oh, okay. These guys. This guy. Three. Is that a, isn't that a 15 foot cube? No, it's a 10 foot radius. 10 foot radius, okay. So, yeah. here... To get... Come on, now. Three guys. Yeah, I'm trying to, but my pointer's not moving fast enough for my taste. Oh, looks like my screen froze on that. Ain't that nice. Alright, so you're going to get these three here with it. Yep. Yeah. DC-14. Right. DC-14. And that is a con save. Right. Let's say this one right here makes it, the other two don't. And that's probably uh, just got a little loud. Yeah, point. And I'm out of movement, so no bonus actions at this time. I'm done. I'm blocking the door. All right, 14 points of damage. And he calls over his shoulder. Hey, she get these guys, kick them in the nuts. Now, with Shatter, do they get anything for making it? Is it a half uh, damage? Half damage. Yep. All right, so seven for that one. All right, so our next one up in La is she. All right, so I will 510 squeeze by Sarge. 15, 20, 25. Um, and I will first uh, hit him with my sword. Try to. Does a 12 hit? I can't remember. You're hitting purple. 12, yes, 12 does hit. And uh, then I will... Uh, Flurry of blows him um, and offer you a 21 and a 13. So for a grand total of 21 points of damage. Alright, and that was two uh, oh. purple. Nice, nice. Alright, so that takes care of that one. Uh, next up is Brother May I. You are next in the initiative. Veya, you're up next. Alright. Uh, 10, 15, 20, okay. 30. Alright, I will need this one. Yeah. He's been damaged, correct? Yes. Alright. We will need to make a wisdom save. 
Wisdom save. Yeah, I'm gonna say that the two that I rolled is not gonna make it. Nope. He takes eleven points of damage for Told the Dead. Copy Told the Dead. So that brings him down to that. All right. So that it on you, brother? May I? Um. Why not? What the hell? Let's go with bonus action. Spiritual weapon. And we will set it right there. And it will attack this one. Alright, you're attacking the green. Uh -oh. this, this is going to be interesting. Alright, so go ahead and give me a percentage roll. Uh, I don't know. Let's, uh... You go to, you go to activate it. And the, mm -hmm. the, the cask appears in the air. And you go to will it to drop on top of this guy's, this is Yanti's head. But for some odd reason, it just, it doesn't move. It's almost like it turns and looks at you and sticks its tongue out. If, you know, if it had oh, this music. The cask had its own. Thanks, son. So, Alrighty. with that, Veil. All right. So, I have my movement. I'm going to attack Orange 1 right. with uh, that one. Still up. That one. Okay, so 21 to like, hit. That, that's a hit, and the second one is a miss, it looks like. Yeah, second one's definitely going to be a miss. Four? So it's 22 points of damage on the first one? Uh, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 23. Okay. Yeah. All right. Alright, he takes that damage. He's still up, but he's, um... Well, they're all not looking very good, but they're still standing. When I say all, I mean the top three up there. What is your plus to hit? Uh, well, plus two while doing sharpshooter, which I was. Okay, so then you get a negative on top of the... Right? Minus five to your yeah, attack negative. roll, plus ten to your damage roll. Okay, it's plus seven minus five, which equals plus two, yes. Okay, I just I was wondering, I was like, I know with proficiency in a... But I was just trying to figure out why it was so low. Sorry. So with that, yeah. do you have any move action you wish to perform, or did you already do that? I do. I will back up and uh, clear the 